I'm Mark Calloway, Applications Engineer at Man and Machine, and in this video we're going to take a look at phases. Um, so most of you all know that Revit's a 3D application. Uh, technically it's 4D, so we can we can put time into the equation on these models. Okay, and you've probably overlooked it in most cases, but if I just select a component and we look at its properties window and we scroll down, you have this little group at the bottom called phasing. Okay, so Elements are created in a set phase, okay? Elements can also be demolished, okay? And we can create multiple phases in the project. Your views are also set to phases too. So if I deselect the elements and look at the views properties, scroll to the bottom. Again, you've probably not noticed this, but we have two options down here. The phase that we're currently looking at and the phase filter to control what we can see. So you can look at what's in the current phase, what's in the current phase and before and uh, what's to be demolished and so on and so forth. Okay. So to access your phase settings we need to go to the manage tab on the ribbon bar. And we have this phasing group. There's only the one button in there for phases and if we click on it we get this window here. Okay. We have a number of tabs across the top. So we have project phases which are all the phases that exist in this project. We have the phase filter and these are the options that you can set um, in the views properties and it controls how elements will display okay and then you've got your graphics overrides here as well so for example we could make our demolished items appear red um, and what we're going to do is we're, we're going to create a few more phases so we, we've got this existing phase um, and new constructions which um, exist by default in this uh, this particular template but I'm going to stick a third phase in there that's going to be our demolition phase. So maybe after existing, um, we'll add in a new phase and call it demolition. Okay. And the way this works is whichever phase is at the top is the furthest back in time. And then whatever is more towards the bottom is the furthest looking forwards. Okay. Further into the future. Okay. So maybe what we're going to do is make this a bit more open plan and we'll put some offices on the right hand side. So I'm just going to select one of these internal walls here. And if we look at its, its options for phasing, we've got the phase created. So it was created in the existing phase, so it's an existing wall. And then the phase fit to be demolished, we're going to set that as the demolition phase. Okay, and that will get demolished in, the, uh, um, in that particular phase. If I select the door that's hosted in it, you'll see that it's inherited the phase that it's going to be demolished in. Okay. Okay. And now if we change the view to look at a later phase, so instead of looking at the existing phase, we can switch to look at the demolition phase. And we can now see all our existing components and what's being demolished in this phase. And then if we go to the new construction phase, which will be where we're going to put our new offices in, you can see now that we've got this big empty space here. Okay, so I'm just going to switch back uh, to the existing phase, and, and maybe we'll we'll remove the rest of the uh, uh, internal partition walls too, so they can all be demolished in the demolition phase. Okay, and you can change the phases that things have been created in. So I could create the new walls and specify that they're created in the new construction phase, but it's usually easier if you just change your view. To the phase that you want things to be constructed in and they'll automatically automatically have that setting okay so if we go to architectural walls basic partition and i'm going to put some offices in on the right hand side here okay i will stick um, a couple of doors in there uh, as well okay something a little like that okay and now when i look at the various phases we have our existing um, model. We have a demolition phase there, we can see what's to be demolished and then we have new construction and we can see what's to be added. Okay, And this is the view setting so we can duplicate our view. So we'll, we'll create three of these. Okay, and I'm going to rename this one to level zero existing. Okay, just make sure that one's set to existing. And then this one will rename to level zero demolition. 
and we'll make sure that's set to the demolition phase. And we'll rename this one to new construction. Okay, and that's set to new construction. I can then go ahead and create a new sheet. I'll just create a blank one for this example. And then we can place all of these side by side. So there's our existing. There's what's to be demolished. And there is what's to be added. Okay. So we can look at all three phases, all three different points in time in the same model at the same time. Thank you for watching.